when I was preparing the Fifth Symphony for recording four or five years ago, or for the first performances that led up to that recording, I came across a, a passage in, in, an, in an article written by a German musicologist in the 1920s, where he drew on this example of what the French called élan terrible, uh, which is kind of um, the, the, the incitement to military action, characteristic of French music which was used in the revolutionary period for political and military ends. And the éclat triomphal, in other words, the, the shout of joy and the victory at the end. And both those things are obviously apparent and audible in Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. The famous opening notes of the Fifth Symphony are based on a piece of music written in 1794 and named after the revolutionary temple, the Panthéon in Paris. I've sent the music ahead to the amateur village choir at La Côte Saint-André. It's directed by the local tax inspector, Monsieur Chambray. Mesdames, Monsieur, bonsoir. I'm going to see whether they can sing it with the same revolutionary fervor that their ancestors must have brought to it. Many of these songs were composed for great outdoor festivals, the political rallies of their time. The sleuth who's rediscovered them and copied out the scores for us is the musicologist David Charlton. What happens was, the, first of all, the people started to, to, to gather on occasion, spontaneously. For example, uh, around the time of the fall of the Bastille. Is that when you say There were musicians there already in 1789, and there were the people who were later going to form the core of the Conservatoire were already there at the, at the fall of the Bastille. Right. There was a grand festival on the Champ de Mars, near where the Eiffel Tower now stands. Then the political events gradually changed, and the festivals carried on changing with them. And it became a kind of, first of all, semi-official, and then an official means of educating the public on a large scale. Not only did they print the text for these ceremonies, and these texts were sent all over France, because it was from Paris out into the regions. All France was to be unified under the revolution. And everybody, even in places such as La Côte Saint-André, were urged, even ordered, to have their own civic festivals at specific times of the year. Hey, up. The revolution festivals went on for 10 years and each of them had new music and the music uh, was of different types, either simple, one-line music, or it could be very complicated music, like, for example, Cherubini's Im du Panthéon, which was written in 94, for performance indoors, not outdoors, like most of the public festivals, but for a particular interment, a particular ceremony, so Cherubini could afford to be more complex. Mm.
you get the point? Fantastic. I mean, he's absolutely blatant, flagrant pinching for, for, for Fifth Symphony. Le faire en main.